WTF, how did it take this long for this rapist to be charged with raping a 14-year-old he kidnapped and brought onto the military base? This guy needs to be put in prison for the rest of his life or executed. Two months after a missing 14-year-old girl was found in the barracks of Camp Pendleton, a Marine has been charged. I refuse to allow this matter to be swept under the rug. The girl's family speaking out just days ago as they anxiously awaited an arrest. My niece was trafficked and potentially purchased by a Marine at Camp Pendleton. Yeah, how, how is this going on that the military is allowed to kidnap kids, bring them onto base and rape them, and nobody says anything until the parents speak up about it? That's crazy. Every single military person needs to be investigated. Military police at Camp Pendleton found the teen on June 28th, more than two weeks after her grandmother had reported her missing. The girl's family says the teen was taken to Camp Pendleton only a day before she was discovered there, but did not clarify where she had been before that. As for the Marine, he has been charged with sexual assault of a minor. He was also charged with violating liberty restriction from a prior unrelated case. Wow, so this guy has committed crimes before. If you're a military person and you commit one crime, you should be put in prison for the rest of your life. It sounds to me like he probably received some form of administrative disciplinary action prior to this. And... Um, somehow violated that. That's Gary Bartell, a civilian lawyer who represents the military. I asked him what the Marine could face if convicted. He's looking at potentially 30 years uh, confinement, dishonorable discharge, reduction in rank, forfeiture of pay. For now, a preliminary hearing has been scheduled for August 17th. A preliminary hearing officer will hear evidence from the government. They need to put this guy in like a hardcore prison and let him get dealt with by the civilian population there because they will deal with him like he should be dealt with government and the defense and then that hearing op preliminary hearing officer will make a decision uh as to whether or not there's probable cause that the accused committed the offense for which he's charged and then we'll make a recommendation as to whether it should go to a court martial or some other action should be taken, if any. As for the teen's family, they continue to ask for transparency and accountability. It is a public case. It needs to be made public.